right, guys, you ready for another epic edition of sports? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go film sports on the field. Yeah. Let's go. First, I gotta go use the bathroom. Oh wait, I'm gonna go. I gotta go too. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's been a while. Where are they? Steven's helmet! Jeff's belt! My god. They're gone. Mom! Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Halloween, Halloween edition of Apache, Apache News. News. I'm Allison Cow. Moo! And I'm Andy Chicken. Now let's get clucking. Forgot to buy a birthday gift for that special someone? Do you feel like a bad friend? Well, get your birthday gift now in the ASB office. Be a good friend today. How diverse are you? Are you Korean like Andy, or are you Taiwanese like me? Or are you something else? Diversity Week is coming up, and we need a t-shirt design. The ASB office will be accepting designs until Tuesday, November 1st. If you win, you'll get a free t-shirt and a $25 gift certificate. Are you wondering how the speech and debate team did on their first debate tournament? Well, here's Rachel Gasparini for more. Hey everyone, this month, speech and debate team had their first debate competition of the year. We had a great turnout of 15 trophy winners. They competed in events that included single debate and partner debate. Here's the results. Novice Pufo, Michelle Chiang, and Stacey Irwan, fourth place. Varsity LD, Albert Gianaton, second place. Gina O, oh, first place. Varsity Congress, Ryan Liu, fifth place. Johnny Perlis, third place. Ami Akula, second place. Novice Congress, Rohan A, third place. Kevin Chow, first place. Andrew Cha and Kevin Lee, second place. Nathan Chi and Emily. Great job, guys. This has been Rachel Gasparini. Back to you in the studio. Meow. Whoa. What happened to Allison and Andy? They're gone? No, they can't be gone. Oh, well, Jeff. It's our time to shine now. Well, then. I'm the divine Jeff. Jeffrey Wu. And I'm the devilish Rachel Gasparini. Boys JV tennis trials are Thursday, November 3rd. At the school at the tennis courts. You must have a clearance slip. Don't forget that Cross Country will still be accepting shoes until Monday, October 31st. Are you interested in becoming a part of a new generation of democratic political activists? Do you want to participate in campaigns, politics, and debates? If so, Arcadia Young Democrats of America is a club for you. Meetings are held on Tuesdays in A203 during lunch. Wondering what the opinions are on the latest movies and theaters? Well, here's Andreas for this week's movie review. Hey, moviegoers. In the spirit of Halloween, I watched the most recent incarnation of The Thing, a sci-fi horror movie based on the original novel Who Goes There by John W. Campbell. The newest rendition acts as a prequel to the 1982 version of the film, detailing the story of the Norwegian scientist who initially found The Thing, an alien that can copy the form of those that it kills. The plot is a typical science fiction horror in which an alien lands on Earth and proceeds to kill people, blah, blah, blah. Either someone miraculously healed themselves, or someone is not who they say they are. The prequel, like the monster itself, did a lot to imitate the original version, emulating much of the set and recreating landmarks seen in the prior version. It casts a much weaker lead than the original's Kurt Russell, imposing Mary Elizabeth Winstead from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World as a grad student turned movie hero. Plot developments modeled those in the first one, with nearly half the conflicts being exact copies. Unfortunately, they didn't model the successes of the original version, trading good pacing, strong tone, and actual character conflicts for CGI effects and obvious scare tactics. Few of the character deaths or paranoia surrounding anyone is really explained. Everything just sort of happens when the audience isn't looking. The movie itself just sort of rambles, killing off characters and bursts until the disappointing and easily foreseen third act. If you need to go see a movie, go watch Paranormal Activity or the original thing. Remember, I watched it, so you don't need to. What? What happened to them? Yeah, that's been weird. Everyone's been disappearing lately. Oh well, I'm Kat Thompson with a C. And I'm Hazel Chuang. Oink. Do you like movies? Do you want to get together with others who share this hobby? The Arcadia High School film is the place for you. Meetings are every Friday at lunch in room P6. Let's get ready for sports! sports! 
Oh, hey, dude. Uh, so a bunch of guys on the sports team, they disappeared. So do you mind helping me out with something? Yeah. Do I get to be on TV? Uh, I guess. So this week, we actually know how girls volleyball is doing. Yeah, they lost to Burroughs 3-1, beat Glendale 3-0, and beat Hoover 3-0. They're 9-2 and two in league. Football's had two. Yeah, yeah, Mom, I'm on TV. Football's had two outstanding matchups since the last show. Let's go to my evil twin, Samaj Gardner, for more. Thanks, bro. Arcadia football's doing swell. Let's go check them out. The Burbank game was dedicated to Chris Handy. He was an outstanding Apache on and off the field. Kicker, you're going the wrong way. Good kick, Burbank. Miles to Robbie for a TD. It takes five Bulldogs to take down one Apache. Taylor Legacy, running, running, running. Touchdown! Arcadia beat Burbank 38 to 7 and Hoover 49 to 7. Back to you, bro. Thanks, Amaj. Football is a game at Glendale versus Glendale tonight at 7. Cross country is doing great. Am I supposed to say that? Yes. Hey, chill, dude. Cross country is dominating, winning the Fresno and Mount Sac Invitational. Great job, studs. Remember to come and support cross country at the Apache Invitational today. Water hand soccer is doing fab tabulous. Here's. Andrew Chen for more. Thanks, James AG. Last week, your Apaches in the water faced off against the Burbank Bulldogs. Here's how they did. The Apaches set the pace by making shot after shot after shot. Check out this goal. Out of nowhere, so ninja. Burbank just couldn't keep up with this amount of teamwork and this amount of awesomeness. Zam! Check out this assist. Nice. Here's the shot of the game. Come on, Burbank, that was just sad. By the power of Poseidon's beard. I admit, I got a little excited. And the Apaches win it 11 to 10. Good job, boys. Well, that's all for water polo. Back to you guys in the suit. And that's all the sports we have this week. Apache sports team, delivering sports, making secret handshakes. Thanks guys, Advanced Drama is getting ready for their first competition, so here's Amanda Lars for more. Thanks guys, have you been wondering what Advanced Drama has been up to lately? Well, today is their first competition, and let's see what exactly they have to do to get ready. If you go to our competition, D-Task, it's kind of odd because there's no costumes. Lots of chair slams, lots of um, people making weird, like, beep, beep, boop, boop noises in the background. So it's, it's a little off, but they're, they're pretty, you know, good scenes. Want more ways to support Advanced Drama? Well, come out and see their first play, 39 the Steps. Back to you guys in the studio. Woo! Gotcha. Hey, we're really good at scaring people. We should really share our wisdom.
Um, I guess we're anchoring now. Yeah. Well, Captain Hazel have disappeared, so we'll just take over from here. I'm Queen Lago. And I'm Nicholas Falabrino. Let's, Let's try, try not, not to die. die. Do you need to get your volunteer hours since you're not out saving the world? Like me? Then you weakling should go help recycle Thursdays after school at the ASB office. Since everyone at APN is dying, there aren't many stories, so here's a short break. Tonight's your first night trick-or-treating. Uh-huh. Remember... Hey, kid. Want some candy? Get in the car. The class is gone! Oh my god, it's you! Welcome back. Hey Karina, do you want to hear a funny joke? No. Okay. Well, well I'd, I'd tell you it. But it's too corny. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Anyways, for all you popcorn lovers, Promcom and Junior Council will be selling kettle corn for one dollar, starting from Halloween, October 31st, all the way to November 4th. Get it? Get it? Get it? It's corn. Yeah, Nick, I get it. I get it. It's that time of year again to apply for Ryla. Here's Amy for more on this exciting leadership opportunity. Hey, Juniors, are you interested in being future leaders? Well, Ryla is the perfect place for you. A three-day leadership conference in Idlewild, it will be held from March 2nd to 4th. Ryla is a program through Rotary. It's called Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. It's an educational program that focuses on leadership training for high school juniors. One of my favorite experiences definitely has to be meeting just all the great people I met there. Um, they're really friends that I keep in touch with now. As Riley continues to promote leadership skills, hopefully you juniors out there will be able to get this once in a lifetime experience. This has been Amy Leon reporting for Apache News. Back to you guys in studio. If you're looking to get volunteer hours, then the district office has something for you. If you're free for two hours after school, Mondays through Fridays, you will be helping office staff Filing, shredding, entering data, and making copies. Those interested, fly over to the Career Center and see ROP counselor Miss Franz for details. Go. Attention all Apaches. Sorry to everyone who enjoys eating on the second floor of A Building, but due to large amounts of food left in the hallways, it will be closed during lunch. You can only be on the second floor of A Building when you're with a teacher in a classroom. That's all for this week. Hope you guys have a great Halloween. Hopefully we'll have a show next week. If we ever find everyone. Bye! Bye. Okay, I'm gonna go take this makeup off now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>